Hi, I'm Mike Travis from Upper Bay Tax Army in Northeast Maryland. I'm putting together a series of videos designed to help you in caring for your game animal in the field, once you get it out of the field before you take it to the taxidermist, and some other videos on helpful tips and information on selecting the best mount possible. Today, I want to discuss different mount styles for your game heads and the basic positions that forms are available in. Now, various game heads have different types of positions, but today we're going to use the white-tailed deer since it is the most commonly mounted game head in North America. These are the four basic positions that you can get your deer head in. The positions vary, and I felt that it would be helpful if you could have a side-by-side -side comparison so that you see the exact attitude and style of each particular position. These forms vary from company to company, but these are the basic positions that we use in the taxidermy industry. I'm going to cover the different types and the terminology that we use in discussing these positions. Now over here, this deer is a full upright deer. On a full upright deer, his chin has a couple of inches of clearance in between the bottom of his chin and the top of his shoulders. The next deer that we have is a semi-upright. On a semi-upright, his chin and nose is just about level with the top of his shoulders. After the semi-upright, we have what's called a semi-sneak. On the semi-sneak, his chin and nose are slightly below the level of his shoulder. That level cuts just below the eye on the deer. Finally, on a full sneak, his head's extended straight out from the shoulders. As you can see, he comes straight out from the wall. Now, they are available in various turns. Each of these deer can be selected in either turn that you'd like. When you're thinking about a turn for your deer, you want to decide where you're going to put it in the house. You always want to put it so it's turned towards the doorway or the center of the room. When we're discussing the turn for a deer, we always use the deer's turn. In other words, if you can picture, if you put your back to the wall where you want to hang the deer, you're going to use that as the turn that the deer will be in. So all of these forms will be a left turn. It's helpful if you can remember that when you're picking out the position, and then we know that we're on the same page when we're discussing it. Now, we do have a variety of forms that are available, and these are the basic positions, but we do have a few options that we can cover in the various positions, and we'll talk about those next. Another option which is available to you on many of the form selections is square shoulders or offset shoulders. On a form with square shoulders, as the one on your right, you can see the form comes directly out from the wall and the shoulders are square and even. On an offset shoulder form, as on your left, this form comes out on an angle from the wall and on the inside of the turn it exposes more shoulder. You can see there's a lot more shoulder showing on this form on, on your left here as opposed to the form on your right. This is a square shoulder form. This is an offset shoulder form. These are available on some of the forms but not all of the selections. In this top view of these two forms you can see the differences between the offset shoulder and the square shoulder form. On your right is the square shouldered form. On your left is the offset shoulder. On the offset shoulder form, the deer comes out on an angle and turns back and has more of the shoulder on the inside of the turn exposed. Another option that you may want to consider with your mount is not necessarily the position itself, but the attitude of the mount. When I mount a deer, I try to put an attitude in it that fits the description that the hunter wants. As you can see, both these deer are mounted in the same position. They're both semi-sneak left turn. But in the deer on your left, he's fully alert. You can see he's got an alert attitude. His eyes are more alert. The ears are forward, and he's in an alert posture. In the deer on your right, this is a more relaxed mount. He has his ears in a more relaxed position. 
I would say he has one ear back and one ear half back, and he's got a more relaxed attitude to his overall eye position and his posture. This is something else that you can consider if you want a deer in a full alert position, a relaxed position, ears forward or back. All these are details that you can decide you want to put into your mount, and I'll mount it the way you want it. Another option in form selection, which has become increasingly popular, is the wall pedestal mount. On the wall pedestal mount, the deer comes out on an angle from the wall, and on the back side of the shoulder, it's concave and exposed, almost like a bronze bust. On the pedestal portion of it, it's finished off with leather on the back side and doesn't sit square against the wall, but it can be hung on the wall just like a normal deer head. Here we have two different full sneak forms. One on your left is the full sneak with the head up. On your right is a full sneak with the head level with offset shoulders. Various forms do come in different styles and oftentimes you can get a form with the head up or the head tilted down. This just shows you the comparison between two different types of forms which might be available in a position you like. 